after a Grey Cup winning Sunday. Your Toronto Maple Leafs are back at Scotiabank Arena to face off against the New York Islanders. What's up, Leaf Nation? Welcome to Live from Morning Skate, presented by FanDuel. The gold medalist, Becky Keller. I'm Scott Willits. And Becky, before we get into the games, <laughs> What a night for the Toronto Argos. I was on the edge of my seat in that fourth quarter. Back and forth. It was unbelievable. Man, you got to give it to the Argos, right? Yeah, that was a crazy one. Fun to watch for sure. Absolutely. All right. Uh, before we get into the game against the New York Islanders, which takes place tonight, as I mentioned, at Scotiabank Arena, we got to talk about Saturday night. What a fun game to watch. The Buds absolutely shut it down. By you, it was against a Buffalo Sabres team that was absolutely struck. And I talked to a couple of Sabres before. I'm like, how bad is it down there in Buffalo? He said, the snow is taller than some of our players. And that's how bad it was. So they are really fighting it. Eight, eight losses in a row. But let's talk about the Leafs. You can only play who's presented in front of you. And I thought the Buds were absolutely on fire. You forget just how good and how skilled this team is. And you saw them basically shut it down in the first period. Uh, some wins are just a little bit more satisfying yeah. than others, too. Anytime you beat the Habs or the Bruins, and I'm going to add Buffalo to that list. After the struggles they had last year, it was so nice to see them come out, get the win, and put an exclamation point yeah. on top yep. of it. And, you know, it was special teams that really stuck out to me. And, and the shorthanded goal. <laughs> okay. <they did> too. <laughs> I was wondering, Becky, how long were we going to take to bring out our boy Gilles, the Toronto native, scoring the shorthanded goal? And, of course, that was Mitch doing Mitch things. But, you, as you mentioned, the special teams were just on fire. Yeah, they were. And, and I got to say, too, you, you don't see a defenseman score a shorthanded goal too often. And as a defenseman, I got to appreciate that. But the power play, the power play has been good all year. And what I love about this power play is you never know what you're going to see. We saw Matthews in the bumper position for a number of games. All of a sudden, he's back on the flank on his one-time side. He and Marner each. And Riley setting them up each for good one-time opportunities that yep. both lead to goals. You know, you can see a completely different look tonight. That, that power play is so fluid, so dynamic. It's hard to get a scouting report. Report on it. We kind of mentioned this a couple games ago that Sheldon Keefe doesn't like to keep it still. 82 games. You can't just keep, keep rolling up the same lines and the same power play unit. And then when you have an abundance of skill that you do, why not mix it up? Throw the blender in there and just see what happens. Because you never know if one little mixture of the chemistry or one little mixture in the pot can like really produce some chemistry. And you're seeing that with this team. Yeah, we saw that again. You know, you'd mix the lines up, put Tavares with Matthews, and then that switched up again last night. Marner was back up with Matthews. So, yeah, you don't know. And again, keeps the the opponents on their toes because they don't know who they're playing against what to match with you never know what you're gonna see yeah what's the old line um, they called me off but I didn't answer the call well yeah or something like that <laughs> I think I butchered it a little bit something from a football player Gino Green I believe um, but Matt Murray uh, is looking as advertised he looks like a true number one it looks like he loves being a Toronto Maple Leaf and it looks like the players love playing in front of him and there was a time where it was 3-1 in the second, and you're thinking, oh, no, is this going to be one of those Buffalo comebacks right here against the Toronto Maple Leafs? But he said, no, nope, shut the door, and absolutely gave them an opportunity to make it 4-1. And uh, you got to love to see how Matt Murray is playing. Well, I'm, and Buffalo has some real offensive threats, especially in Tage Thompson. And, and so I think the save for me that really stands out that Murray made in that game was on the power play, Buffalo power play. Yeah. Tage Thompson, one-time attempt, and Murray comes across just looking so good, so athletic, comes across and makes that save. And, and again, another game, three in a row, where he has given this team an opportunity uh, to win. And, and he's been, like you said, everything that he was advertised to be. 32 saves. And I also like the D that was playing in front of him. We talked about Giordano getting a shorthanded goal. I was going to pick him for my... <laughs> Uh, fan duel first goal of the game. You think you can make lightning chicken strike twice. I'm not going to do that. But what do you like about this decor? It seems like they're they're really tight. They're uh, they're they, they know what they're doing. They're keeping everybody out to the perimeter. They are keeping everyone out to the perimeter, and I think the big thing is the fact that you're missing Muzzin and you're missing Brody, mm -hmm. and they're still able to play a tight I, defensive game. I agree game. with you. So to be able to fill in those roles, because those are two big guys out of the lineup, and, and Ben has been an inserted, and he's yeah. been a, a very good defensive player for them, and, and obviously contributing offensively a little bit too. So that's what I'd like to see them all step up and be able to fill those positions and not miss a beat. Sheldon Keefe is going through some tactics right now. They were just uh, taking a knee. It looks like Shawgren is starting. Don't quote me on that, but I'm believe the Chagrin will be between the pipes tonight be game time a decision and of course the other thing we saw out there this morning like we see every morning yeah. is Willie Nylander yes. first guy on the ice you know what, let's talk a little bit about Willie Nylander before we get to our first goal uh, of the game um, I like you said it's dedication to his craft and his work ethic is bar none but what I liked about him is he looked a little bit like Gordie Howe. Two penalties <laughs> and two goals. You saw a little bit of grit, a little bit of fight, and also, which I don't know if Sheldon Keefe likes that much, but you also saw the 
skill and the finesse that he brings every game. Well, you did. And, you know, this is when you're coaching little kids. This is what they'll call the Corey Howe <laughs> hat trick for kids. Is it's not a fight. It's a penalty. So two penalties. He was just missing the assist. Uh, but he's been consistent this year. And we've seen that every night. He's bringing offensive threats. We saw that against New Jersey when they were struggling to get five-on-five -five opportunities. He's still there. Ten goals this year. So, uh, you know what? He's a guy that we really have to watch out for. There's one thing. When he got drafted... I believe that he's a guy who can lead his own line. Uh, it, it doesn't need a John Tavares or an Austin Matthews beside him, but that helps. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see the scale that Willie Nylander is presenting. And obviously, what we love is the work ethic, like you said. His yeah. first one out, out on the ice every morning skate. Um, that brings us to our fan duel first goal of the game. Now... This is kind of a humble break, but on Saturday, of course, I wasn't part of the show, but I picked John Tavares to score uh, the first goal with my friends in Game Ops. I won $50, by the way. That so still doesn't count here, It doesn't, count, it doesn't here. count here. So I got, I got to get off the snide here. I'm going to let you go first. Becky, who are you picking? All right, well, how do you not pick Willie Nylander right now? I mean, the guy's on fire. When you got the hot stick, you pick the hot stick. And, and I had made this decision on my own, but I got texts from both my kids saying, you okay. pick Nylander tonight. So my pick is Willie. What I'm beginning to like learn about you Becky is you don't really actually make the pick your kids <laughs> make the pick yeah, that's true you know what I almost fired them after the last one but I'm gonna go back to them one more time well there's a reason why I'm wearing my <laughs> Drew hat and it's not for Justin Bieber though shout out to Justin Bieber it's from my boy big poppy Austin Matthews I am definitely taking Austin Matthews tonight two goals and five assists in the last five games the kid is heating up he's out there right now he's zipping the puck man his shot his release it's so unbelievable when you get to see it live it is it is as advertised but even more so I'm picking the man with the stash, Austin Matthews, <laughs> to score first tonight. Which brings us to tonight's game, the New York Islanders. When I think about the New York Islanders, I think about a, a defensive team, a defensively sound team. They've been struggling a little bit, lo losers of two in a row. Um, but when I think about them, one of my favorite players to watch is Matt Barzell. 19, 21 points in 19 games, 19 assists, but only two goals. I know you uh, like Matt Barzell. What do you think he's doing a little bit wrong, or why, why do you think he's kind of fighting it a little bit? Well, you know, usually when a team, when a player's fighting it, it's kind of a whole team thing. Quite often, it's a whole team thing. You yeah. know what? He's got a lot of assists. It's kind of a Mar Marner-esque. Change your game a little bit. You're distributing the puck. Sometimes you just got to get back to shooting yep. it. But this this team, this is a team where, you know, with the Leafs over the last little bit, it seems like every team they've faced has been either on a massive hot streak or Buffalo the other night on a really bad cold streak. This is the first time they face someone where you look at them and kind of go, well, they're, they're a little more average, yeah. right? Yeah, they're 11-8. Right. and eight. They're just above, just above five. Yep. They're Most there. of their statistics are average, but there's some things that they do really well. Uh, you know, the one is penalty kill. They're one of the top teams in the league on the PK. So yeah, that could be, an, yeah, could be an interesting matchup tonight with, with a hot power play. Uh, and they're they're strong in net. Ilya Sorokin is one of the top goaltenders uh, in the NHL. Yeah, he is good. So that could be something that the Leafs have to work on uh, in order to crack that as well. You know what I liked on Saturday night about the Leafs game? It was a little bit of physicality and a little bit of skill. It was kind of an all-around performance. Now, when you think about the New York Islanders, as I mentioned before, I got to see Matt Martin down there, our old buddy Matt Martin. Is there a chance, over, under, that you think Matt Martin and Michael Bunting throw <laughs> the mitts off and have a little bit of fun tonight? I could see it. You know what? I could see it too. And, and I think, you know, I kind of want to see it because <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, you t said before, I'm a little old school. Like sometimes I kind of like that stuff. It fires up a team. And these are two teams that don't necessarily even need that. Every time the Leafs go to New York, you know JT's oh, yeah. getting yeah, yeah. booed. And so he's a guy that's probably a little fired up too. It's in his building tonight. But, you know, these, these are two teams where there's going to be a little fire coming into the game anyway. I was, I was going to say, people are at home are sitting there going, how could you not pick JT to score first <laughs> against the New York Islanders? You know he always plays with a little bit of a chip on the shoulder. Should be a fun one tonight. 7.30 start, not 7 o'clock, 7.30 start. You can catch it on Sportsnet. And, of course, you can hear the call with Joe and Jim on the Fan 590. Becky, are you going to be watching Canada soccer on Wednesday? I watch Canada everything. There it doesn't you. matter what sport it is. I'm tuning in. That's a true Canadian right there. We look forward to seeing you guys tonight as always go Leafs go